Hey guys, Fusion Timmy here, and for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm, I'm Fusion Timmy, but um, today we're going to be discussing what happened to Malt Mike and the Sticky Battle, and I'm not going to be going into uh, who caused it, or why, or any of the drama concerning it, and before I actually get into the video, I just want to ask you guys, do not threaten anyone in the video, because I know there's going to be two different sides of uh, who was right, who was wrong. I'm not for any of that here. All I'm trying to do is just clear up some of the confusion that is going on between the channels because I, I myself am a little bit confused. Um, I was just getting on the YouTube one day and I saw there was a live stream and I figured out all of the creepy gaming videos have been deleted on the main Sticky Pile channel and I just did some research and I think I know what happens but I'm not going to be able to clarify it or confirm what it is. I'm just going to be trying to give... Um, what I think it is. So let's get into it and I'm gonna try and explain what happened to you guys. Alright so here's our first piece of evidence it's off the Malt Mike Twitter I'll have that in the description along with the two YouTube channels I'm talking about today. So um, this is actually pinned I believe and I found this when I was looking on there and this pretty much sums up what I think has happened but this is just a piece of what I figured out. So it says, as of today, June 1st, 2019, I'm sad to say that I'm stepping down from the Sticky Paddle. It was a fun ride. So he's leaving on like kind of like a good note. He's just saying, you know, it was fun while it lasted. If you're wondering about creepy gaming, I wasn't the one who removed them. That's a big clue right there. Um, that being said, I will be re-uploading all of my episodes on my Malt Mike channel. Thank you all. Malt Mike is his secondary channel, and that's the one I'll be linking like below. And then I'm also link linking the Sticky Paddle, which he's not going to be on anymore. But there is two other guys that I'll talk about later that are on there. But pretty much he's making new videos and new content on his new Malt Mike channel. And he's also going to be posting his old videos on there, like the seasons of Creepy Gaming. I'm a big fan. I've been watching it for a couple years now. And I, I really hope everything goes alright, which I'm pretty sure it is now. I think they're moving out of the dark times. Okay, so second piece of evidence is this is on his discord server I don't know if he owns it I know a bunch of people or admins but just, I've had issues with them since TSP started or first started and that's the sticky paddle by the way so since the sticky paddle first started they've had issues some sort of drama I hate that friendship friendships have been ruined but it's time for us to move on so obviously it didn't work out things didn't work out it's, that happens in life but yeah, that's a big like piece of evidence right there. Then he says, they are keeping the Sticky Paddle name, and I get to keep the Creepy Gaming name, which is pretty much what he does. He makes Creepy Gaming videos. Um, I guess that's the main name he needed. I don't think they did much for the Creepy Gaming episodes. At least I've never seen them. But yeah, you get the, he gets to keep the Creepy Gaming name, but he's not going to be having the Sticky Paddle name anymore. Which I know he did care about the Sticky Paddle name from what I've learned, but at least he got to keep the creepy gaming name. That means he gets to keep the you know the show running and everything. That's what I'm. That's like what I really really care about. Third piece of evidence, which isn't really evidence, is um, he has a backup hard drive where he saved all of his seasons, and he has fans. Like even if he did lose his evidence, he has a fan or fans that have already downloaded it, so he, they can just give it to him as well. His fans are really supportive. I'm one of them. I mean, I've met some of them on his Discord. These people are all really awesome. Like, not gonna lie. It's a pretty positive community. And the last piece of evidence is... So apparently, Swamp and Rich, who are the two guys that are now on the Sticky Paddle, at least as far as I know, they're the only ones that are on there, are gonna stream on Sticky Paddle later and reveal the truth. Let them... I have nothing to hide. This was also on June 1st. So it seems like all of this was happening on the same exact day as you guys can see so pretty much he said he has nothing to hide and that explains a lot that means he's pretty confident that he hasn't done anything wrong which I believe is true but like I said I don't know and I don't know him personally I don't know Swamp and Rich personally so I'm not gonna get into any of that I'm just gonna go into what I think happened 
And then, yeah, this was the live stream that um, all that took place on, of, of them explaining what happened. I didn't really watch it all because it's a very, very long stream. But this is the stream where I figured out that, you know, all the creepy gaming videos have been deleted. But you guys can go watch that if you want. And, yeah. So what I'm assuming happened was that they got into some sort of drama. Or drama's been going on for a while now. Maybe Swamp or Rich or maybe even both of them deleted his content on the like on the Sticky Foul channel, like all the creepy gaming videos. Um, either he got kicked out or he just stepped down because I know he said he stepped down on Twitter. Either way, they had some sort of argument. Something happened. Mike ended up leaving, and now it's just Swamp and Rich, and they're on bad terms right now. Mike retreats to his secondary channel known as Mo Light Mike. I don't know why I said like, <laughs> Mullet Mike, and um, that's where he's posting all of his old seasons. So pretty much if you still want to see some of the old creepy gaming content, or you want to see who this guy is, it's in the description. If you want to see what Swamp and Rich will be doing next, it's also in the description. But all I'm trying to say is that's where he's went. He's went to his secondary channel, and he's starting to post his content on there. But not only that, he's also posting new content on there. So he's not quitting YouTube. It's okay. He's just switching to his secondary channel, and that's where he's going to be posting all of his creepy gaming content. And then Swamp and Rich, I think they're just making gaming videos for fun on the Sticky Battle, and they're trying to take it to a new direction. Not really sure, but you guys can check both of their channels out in the description. But that's what I think happened. There was just some argument, and they just kind of split. And I mean, that just happens in life. I mean, it's happened with me. So, it's just sometimes you got to move on. Not all people agree. So, I wouldn't send in, like, hate to either side. That can be just kind of childish guys, like, come on. But, I'm actually one of the younger people in the fan base. I mean, I'm 15, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just trying to spread the word, you know, stop some of the confusion. I was a little confused myself. I know a lot of people were wondering about it in the comments, and I was like, maybe I can clear this up. So, if you guys were confused, here, here's your explanation. But like I said, go check in the description. You can see where they're going. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Fusion Timmy, signing out.